And moving on, lately, Nicki Minaj has been on a dragging spree, and she's not holding back. After going off on Girl Selbo Bay on a recent episode of Queen Radio, Nicki is now adding Lonnie Love to the mix. A Twitter user wrote, I want somebody to drag Lonnie Love ass too, but hey, that's just me. Nicki responded, I can't drag her by myself, that's for sure. Social media users felt that Nicki was body shaming Lonnie Love and took things too far. What do you think about Nicki Minaj's beef with the former host of The Real Q? What do you think? Listen, Nikki, those ladies were just doing their job. Like, you know what I'm saying? You mad at everybody else except your husband. You chose him. Of all the men in New York City, you chose him. So, mama, you have to deal with the fallout of the choices that you made. I always say on my YouTube videos, I don't make the news. I just report it, okay? Those ladies were a talk show. That was a trending topic. Um, it, it would bring ratings and they provided, you know, they got a guest that was part of one of the biggest stories in pop culture. I mean, don't take it personal. They were doing their job. And at the end of the day, I, I, you know, I don't know if your husband is guilty or innocent or what I wasn't there, but something happened between him and that damn woman. So be mad with your husband. Okay. Good points. Al, what do you think about this? So <clears throat> I completely understand what Funky's saying, but there, there's a, there's a, there's a real life element to this that I can understand. I'm not saying I support it, but I can understand. I can understand being Nicki Minaj and I can understand to me, it's all bets are off when you start talking about my family, when you start talking about my husband or my wife, and when you start talking about my kids to me, I don't care. I could be, uh, Nicki Minaj or Lulu Lodge, I'm, I'm going to defend my family and I'm going to defend my kids. That's number one. So I can understand her being upset that someone is talking about her. But the other thing I don't understand, though, and I don't like is, number one, I don't like this idea of our most visible, uh, beautiful black women fighting on national television or, or in national media. I just don't like that. That's disturbing. Black women want to be uplifted. The uplifting have to start with you. So I think unless it's somebody who's trying to destroy you, then I think we just need to be a little bit more aware about, you know, being positive and uplifting each other. The second thing though, and I don't I don't know why Nikki's doing this because I think Nikki is so freaking amazing. Super Freak Girl is number one in the Billboard MTV Awards. She got like three awards. She got the Michael Jackson Vanguard Award. She, she's the first artist to have seven songs in the Billboard 100. She's a culture icon. These antics though, I just feel like her antics are tarnishing her legacy and it doesn't have to because she is an amazing woman. So Nikki, I know it's hard, but just try to do just a little bit better because we love you. Here's the thing, y'all. Right is right and wrong is wrong. There are a million bloggers on YouTube that went way harder on them, on Nikki, in her case, in her life, than what Garcelle Beauvais and Lonnie Love did on The Real, which are very respectful. They simply had the victim, the alleged victim on the show and did an interview with her. They weren't out of pocket. They weren't biased. They weren't, they weren't hating on her. They didn't come for her son. Unlike what Nicki Minaj did to Garcelle Beauvais' son and justified him being bullied. I'm not afraid to take this head on, and I'm going to take this head on. Nikki, you're a dope actress. I'm sorry, you're a dope artist. But as a human being, as a fellow woman, you, you have a history of doing this. You talk about Lonnie Love's weight. Oh, I need help dragging her. And then you come for throwing up this kid because you said, and they, but you're mad that they came for your kid. You cannot have it both ways, mama. You cannot go for someone else's kid and then be mad when they come for yours. You cannot make jokes about Garcelle Beauvais' white husband leaving her and then get so irritated when, you know, she had to simply interview the alleged victim of your husband that you chose. We want to go back to focusing on your music, but you make it hard with that Queen Radio, Mom. I feel like that Queen Radio is a bad look to you because it, it, it's, it, I get that it's your therapy and gets a vent, and it, it is good to have a voice. But like every time it's you cussing somebody out and we're forgetting about your music, you are number one right now. You don't need to be doing this. Get out of the, get out of the trenches. You are an A-lister. You are his history when it comes to hip hop. You are history. And although I'm not a fan because of the antics, I can respect your work and your career. You are dope as hell as a rapper. You really are. But as a woman, it's hard to uplift you and defend you when you do stuff like this. Garcelle Bobet is one of the most unproblematic women in the industry. 
she don't bother nobody. She interviewed an alleged victim of rape that you happen to be married to. We didn't choose him, you did. And with that being said, honey, take us to commercial. <laughs> I want to break and go ahead, Barb's, have at it. I'm moving anyways. <laughs>